The Stanley Parable is an interactive fiction video game designed by Davy Reardon. The game originally released on July 27, 2011 as a free modification for Half-Life 2, a high-definition standalone remake, including new story elements, was again designed by Davy Reardon together with Source Engine modeler William Pugh, under the Galactic Cafe studio name. The remake was announced and approved via Steam Greenlight in 2012 and was released on October 17, 2013 for Microsoft Windows. Later updates of the game added support for OS X on December 19, 2013, and for Linux on September 9, 2015. While both the mod and the remake use the first-person perspective common to other Source Engine mods, there are no combat or other action-based sequences. Instead, the player guides Stanley, the game's protagonist, through a serial environment while the narrator, voiced by British actor Kevin Brighting, delivers exposition. The player has the opportunity to make numerous decisions on which paths to take, and because at times the narrator says what Stanley will do next, the player can choose to ignore the narration and make a different choice. Every choice made by the player is commented on by the narrator, and depending on the choices the player makes, they will encounter different endings to the game before it restarts. Read and envision the game, after considering that most major video game titles confine the user to its rules, and considered how to construct a narrative to challenge that notion. Outside of Brighting's voice work as the narrator, Read and built the modification himself, initially as a personal project for his career goals but soon expanding to a wide release once he had shown it to friends and other players. The modification received critical attention as a new variation of creating interactive storytelling within a game engine, and provided a thought-provoking narration to discuss with others on the nature of choice and predestination within video games. The remake expanded the experience, recreating many of the original mod's decisions within new environments while adding several more story pathways that could be followed. The standard Alan game has received similar critical praise from journalists favoring the expanded narrative and commentary on player choice and decision-making in modern video games. The game is presented to the player from the first-person perspective. The player can move around and interact with certain elements of the environment, such as pressing buttons or opening doors, but has no other controls. The story is primarily presented to the player via the voiceover of the game's narrator, who explains that the protagonist Stanley works in an office building, tasked to monitor data coming on a computer screen and press buttons appropriately without question. One day that screen goes blank. Stanley, unsure what to do, starts to explore the building, and finds it devoid of people. At this stage. The story splits off in numerous possibilities, based on the player's choices. The narrator continues the story, but when the player comes to an area where a choice is possible, the narrator will suggest which route Stanley will take. The player can opt to go against the narrator and perform the other action, forcing the narration to account for this new direction which may return the player back to the target path, or create a new narration. For example, the first choice the player makes in the game is at a set of two open doors, with the narrator stating that Stanley chose the left door. The player can choose to follow this narration, which keeps the narrator's story on track, or may choose the right door, which makes the narrator annoyed and causes him to pressure the player to return to the proper path. Because of this, much of the story is considered thought-provoking about the nature of choice and decisions. The narration also breaks the fourth wall on several occasions in handling the player's decisions.